Happy New Year. You guys are amazing. Today I woke up with a recently declassified CIA document sent to me about the practical effects of Soviet Union scalar weapons that were actually tested and used against the USA on USA soil during the Cold War. I had no idea. We have a weapon just within the portfolio of our scientists so powerful that if unrestrainedly used, it could wipe out all life on Earth. So join me on a journey where I try and understand what was actually out there, how they worked, what the effects were, and how scared people really were about scale of weapons. So stop, I don't actually claim to understand how scalar weapons work. The most simple explanation is all your physics, all the things around us actually interact with electrons, uh, electricity, uh, forces of nature that we actually use, photons of light. But there's another part of the atom of reality which we don't actually interact with, which doesn't form technology or forces of nature that we exploit, and that's the proton, the positively charged proton. Very simply, and to the best of my knowledge of my limited understanding of scalar technology, it's possible to build very exotic effects, including time dilation and extremely strange energy systems including instantly destroying all heat, reducing a person, an area of the world to zero degrees by exploiting a very little known force of nature. Now, I came across the term scalar weapons in the Cold War in the 1980s. I was working for the BBC for their current affairs program, Panorama. And during the strategic arms limitation talks, verification was very important. The USSR and NATO powers had agreed to reduce the number of intermediate nuclear weapons and missiles. And you had to verify that they'd been destroyed. The Soviet Union chose to fire their intermediate nuclear missiles without the warheads into the Pacific and American planes could verify that they were launched and they crashed and they could count numbers. And this very strange event occurred while American planes were monitoring these destruction of missiles. A dome of light appeared over the missile silos. It was seen by lots of people and it became very famous. I remember the unknown force of the dome of light was discussed in the British press and in the British media. We had no idea what it was, and the word scalar weapon was mentioned. Beats me. But today, from a viewer, thank you, and you will remain anonymous, this recently declassified CIA report on how the USSR actually made scalar weapons, mentioned them as a doomsday weapon in talks, but the staggering thing is, they actually demonstrated their doomsday scalar weapon against the USA on USA soil, specifically above military zones, for them to see that they were real. And they were real. And they were really terrifying. Now, the full effects weren't demonstrated. It would have been an international incident. But this, for you, for the first time that this information has been shared, is a possibility of what you can do with a scalar weapon. The Dome of Light was a scalar weapon, it's been revealed. A 150 mile diameter dome that you can't see through, ELINT, electronic security, can't peer into. It was a force field. But what I'm gonna tell you now is probably the most interesting weaponization of physics I have ever heard. The USSR could use their scalar weapons that they had built a force to actually project over a battlefield, turning that battlefield into zero degrees Kelvin. A scalar weapon can suck all the energy out of an area, freezing all life, killing everything, 
plants, animals, birds, and an invading army. Once switched on, it can be deployed at a distance, including intercontinental distances. Florida and California. Look at this report. But scalar weapons mess with time, apparently. The report and other things I've read goes on to describe how a scalar weapon can actually bend time, distort time in a relativistic way. For you, time is normal, but for an observer, you're actually looking at the past. One way of using it is to wrap your tank in this time dilation scalar device. An external observer would see the tank over there, fire at it, but you are actually minutes ahead of time and you're now over there. So when their missile, anti-tank missile, hits what they think and they can see in their reality, your tank, you've moved ahead in time. This is not science fiction, it's science fact, but it raises a big question. If the USSR had scalar weapons back in the Cold War, why aren't Russia today using them, freezing the Ukrainians, time warping their battles? You would also imagine that NATO would have tanks wrapped in scalar time dilation force fields. And an advanced country like Israel are still using conventional explosives in Gaza when they could actually switch a switch and take over the whole territory. So I'm perplexed. This CIA report clearly shows that the USSR had past tense the weapons and tested them against the USA. Where are they today? Were they regarded as the ultimate doomsday weapon and too dangerous to use? I just don't know. So viewers, if you work in scalar technology, if you work in time dilation, in novel ways to camouflage tanks in time, get in touch, share only what you can, because the truth needs to be out there.